Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video we're going to be talking about the NVIDIA RTX A2000 12 gigabyte model that has come out. It's kind of a unicorn. Nobody's really got their hands on it. However, a buddy of ours, Dizzy Mining, was able to provide data to me uh, once I sent them the tables of, you know, power limit, core clock, mem clock, you know, TDP, all that good stuff, and they provided that information back to me. So a huge shout out to Dizzy Mining. They already did some testing of their own, uh, pushed out a number of different videos out there. Uh, for example, the video here that says mining fail, do not buy. So basically, I would agree with Dizzy Mining. The six gigabyte model of the A2000 seems to better be the better GPU of the two. It could hit 40 mega hash. But on the 12 gigabyte model, uh, it seems that 38 is the max that it could hit. So the 6 gig does perform better. However, you taking into consideration, some people do want to mine other algorithms that have a, a bigger memory requirement, like Cortex. You know, that may be where the, the GPU might be beneficial to users. However, I would recommend just going with the 6 gig model unless you really are wanting to mine those algorithms that have a bigger memory requirement now as far as getting this gpu right now at time of filming it's going to be around 600 bucks thereabouts after you know tax and shipping maybe a little bit more um here in the states the united states uh to get the six gigabyte model however the 12 gigabyte model is available at some retailers it's just just like most retailers they may not get their shipments in in time and then by the time you get it, it's going to be months later for example the a uh 2012 gig at uh, shop blt is around 850 bucks so to almost 200 bucks 250 bucks more than the six gigabyte model and again because these retailers are so delayed or the manufacturer is so delayed in shipping out the components to them uh by the time you get it it's going to be months months later before you even get it so moving on to the actual performance i will have uh, a reddit post linked down below if you want to check it out um, i did steal red panda mining's uh, uh picture of his six gigabyte models uh, GPUs, you know, just sitting there chilling. This is not the 12 gig. I just borrowed it. Uh, sorry, Red Panda. But um, there's a couple things that I'm seeing here. So first off, you know, leaving the card to run at 100% TDP seems to be best. And then when you push the memory clock high, like the 6 gig models, you could do 1,000, 1,100, 1,200 on the mem. With the 12 gig, you can't do that. So the more memory, uh, the less you can push that memory up to its, you know, peak, so to speak. And, um, T-Rex Miner on Ethereum, Dagger, ETHash, whichever you want to call it. Uh, it looks like the max that we were able to get from Dizzy Mining's information was 38 mega hash. From the data they provided me directly, 35 seems to be the sweet spot. But you see that when we push 12, uh, 1250 mem, even at 100% TDP and 70, 70 watts, uh, you can see that it's 3 mega hash less than what we've seen on their actual video uh, where they were able to get... 38 mega hash or thereabouts now etc should be no different you know 35.7 mega hash is what we got best with zero on the core 500 on the mem 100 percent tdp again 70 watts and then nb minor ergo uh i would say that again leaving it at 100 percent 70 watts just throwing some core and some mem at it would be the best again throwing too much mem at it seems to bring the hash rate down you just got to find that balance on t-rex minor uh, we failed once we dropped the TDP down to 80%. It failed. The core would crash. Power limit's too low. So leaving at 100%, 0, 0, 70 watts. But we got 14.56 mega hash. On Firo, uh, we got 15.34 uh, mega hash at 100%, 69 watts. But you got to keep an eye on the thermals with that one because you're going to push the core and that will heat up things. Uh, and depending on the temps where your rig or GPU is, uh, they state that 15.34 was the max, so when it was cold, but 14.8 was stable, uh, and the core drops too heavily when we drop the power limit down to 80%. Uh, on Conflux, or Octopus Algorithm, the stock was 29.3 mega hash at 70 watts, uh, but the best one that I guess you could say for this middle pack here was 18.4 mega hash, 100 on the core, 0 on the mem, 80% power limit, 55 watts. NB minor attorney or bit tube cash, uh, 4.285 mega hash at 70 watts stock, or 3.5 mega hash uh, with an 80% power limit instead, and that's at 55 watts. Now Alfium um, or Blake 3, we saw you know 678.6 mega hash stock 
but the best one that you can see out of this grouping right here is is kind of bumping up the core leaving the mem alone at almost 630 mega hash and 55 watts with a tdp or power limit of 80 percent and then ton coin of course everybody loves ton coin dropping the uh, the power limit again crash the core so leaving it at 100 percent 70 watts uh, it looks like the best one that we were able to get was 1375 mega hash with 200 on the core 500 on the mem uh, unfortunately i don't know too many people that have the a2012 gigabyte model uh, but if you have any input feel free to go click the link to this reddit post or go down to the comments below this video and post whatever data you have you know core clock mem clock um, if you can't, if you adjusted with the power limit or TDP, let us know that and then what your hash rate is. But that's going to do it for today's video. I just wanted to share this data with you. A huge shout out once again to DizzyMind. Thank you for providing this information to us. And good luck in trying to obtain these GPUs. And the 6 gig model is readily available here in the States, but the 12 gig is not. 6 gig model is perfectly capable for the number of algorithms we have right now. But if you're focusing on Cortex or other algos that have a huge memory requirement, then 12 gig may be acceptable. It's just what what's the price you're willing to pay for it? All right, that's it. I'm out of here. I'm done with my rant. You guys take care. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out the links in the description to help support the channel and much more. You all have a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.